Pirates of the Caribbean 6 is already in production, but fans are eager to know when they can expect this sequel to release and what the storyline is in the upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean movie. A female-led spin-off movie has also been announced, so here is everything we know about the future of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. The nearly two decades long Pirates of the Caribbean franchise began with the premiere of the first movie, titled Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl in 2003. Johnny Depp starred in the movie as the charming pirate Jack Sparrow and Orlando Bloom played the blacksmith Will Turner. In the movie, Turner went on a mission to rescue Will's childhood love, Elizabeth Swan, played by Kiera Knightley from Captain Barbosa's Jeffrey Rush's cursed ship called the Black Pearl. The movie's opening exceeded expectations at the box office and earned more than $650 million worldwide. After the huge success of the movie, Walt Disney Pictures and the executive producer Jerry Bruckheimer set the ship's journey for another four sequels of the franchise. As of today, the mysterious sixth sequel is on its way. In October 2018, it was announced that Deadpool writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick will be smashing that like button. <laughs> no, I mean they'll be writing the script for the sixth installment. But Disney eventually hired Craig Mason of Chernobyl as well as Ted Elliott, who wrote Pirates 1 through 4, to write this screenplay. In May 2020, it was revealed by Bruckheimer that the writers were, quote, working on a draft right now, and that the Disney executives will soon have the final draft of the script. Following the fifth movie, Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales, which made close to $800 million worldwide, it was announced that they are planning a new adventure for the Pirates in 2018. The studio also expressed that they want to change the franchise and expand it in the future, with an announcement that a reboot starring Margot Robbie would be developed, together with the sequel. Although Pirates of the Caribbean 6 and the movie reboot are still in the early development phase. The movies of the franchise have been usually released in the summer months, as with the previous films, either in July or May. Although we still don't have information if the Pirates of the Caribbean 6 movie will continue this tradition. Most likely, the sequel will be released at the same time as the last three movies, At World's End, On Stranger Tides, and Dead Men Tell No Tales, which topped at the box office on Memorial Day weekend. In December 2010, six months before the premiere of On Stranger Tides, which was supposed to be in May 2011, it was announced that Disney had the plan to film the fifth and sixth installments, quote, back to back as one giant film, but released one at a time. But only Pirates 5 made it through. After Terry Rossio finished the script draft, Disney couldn't find a director for the movie. Gore Verbinski, the director of Pirates 1 through 3, died and eventually Joachim Roning and Terry Rossio took over his place. They got rid of Rossio's script, and pre-filming started from scratch in January 2013. The movie wasn't announced until July 2014, three years after Dead Men Tell No Tales was released in the movie theaters. It could take nearly four years for the Pirates of the Caribbean 6 to be released, if we take into consideration that the movie is in development right now and also judging by the timeline of its forerunner. There was a hint by Bruckheimer that the script was almost finished and filming was about to start, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the project was delayed. Since then, there were no new announcements after the pandemic. It's difficult to know when we can expect the movie to be released, but there could be an official release date in 2023 if we take into consideration how the last installment was handled. There is no one officially hired for the Pirate 6 cast, although there are a lot of rumors about Disney wanting Karen Gillan to star in the movie, which could revolve around a female lead. The actress from the Guardians of the Galaxy also stars in the reboot series Jumanji. She could be a good choice for the Pirates franchise because she is an A-list celebrity. Also, since Emma Watson was impressive in her role as Belle in the live-action Beauty and the Beast, there was a rumor that Disney wants to cast her for the sequel. Rumors were spreading around that the young Jack Sparrow could be portrayed by Zac Efron in the movie. By all means, these are only rumors. Unless there are official announcements for the cast by Disney. In the Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tale No Tales, the leading actress Kaya Scodelario could return in the upcoming film. 
In 2017, she revealed that she already signed a contract to play Karina Smythe in other Pirates movies. An actor who, unfortunately, won't be returning to the upcoming movie is Johnny Depp, who played Captain Jack Sparrow. In an interview, the Disney film production chief, Sean Bailey, was asked if the series could work if Depp is not part of the cast, and his response was, quote, We want to bring in new energy and vitality. I love the Pirates movies, but part of the reason Paul and Rhett are so interesting is that we want to give it a kick in the pants, and that's what I've tasked them with. The Pirates 6 story will be a direct follow-up, with the previous cast members, including Orlando Bloom, who will be back as Will Turner. Like I did already, I will turn to the latest Pirates of the Caribbean movie to try to make some guesses about where the story could go in the next installment. There was a post credit scene featured in Dead Men Tell No Tales hinting at the reappearance of Davy Jones, Bill Nye, as the antagonist. While Will and Elizabeth are sleeping in their room, the Flying Dutchman captain sneaks in as they sleep, getting ready to attack them, and eventually vanishes. Even though Will thinks he is dreaming, there are barnacles on the floor that prove Jones was truly there. We could only suppose this could indicate Jones's possible return in the next Pirates movie. Although, can't tell for sure, considering the inconsistency of the movie's timeline. There is also a possibility that the sixth movie will go back in time, or maybe even focus on entirely new pirates from the current movies. It could also happen that we don't hear from Davy Jones again until the next seventh or eighth sequel of the franchise. A lot of fans have discussed that Pirates of the Caribbean 6 is best to focus on Red, a once troublesome character from the actual Pirates of the Caribbean Disneyland ride. She was a prisoner that was sold in a bride auction, and after the ride was changed, Red became a female pirate from the stuff she stole from the village and sold to them. Gillen's supposed association with Pirate 6 could shift that idea into a more firm argument, as she and the animatronic human figure both have red hair. In the latest movie, Will is freed from his seabound prison after Poseidon's trident is ruined. To save Henry and his daughter Karina, Captain Barbosa sacrifices himself in the ultimate battle opposing Captain Salazar. After this ending, a cutscene is shown of Elizabeth and Will lying in bed. This is the moment he believes he is dreaming, but in reality, Captain Davy Jones is actually in the room. As of today, there is no story announcement or a release date for the fans hooked on the franchise, but they have every reason to smash that like button and ring that notification bell. <laughs> uh, but no, in all seriousness, they have every reason to be excited for some new adventures that we are hoping to see in the near Pirates future. The series enthusiasts will have to wait a little longer and in the meantime, check for some new updates about the potential sixth movie. There still hasn't been a trailer released for the Pirates of the Caribbean 6 by the studio, since the movie still hasn't started its production phase. But Disney will hopefully release it soon. You will love these videos next!